Unit 2, Lesson 7, Creating Double Number Line Diagrams. 1. A recipe for cinnamon rolls uses 2 tablespoons of sugar per teaspoon of cinnamon for the filling. Complete the double number line diagram to show the amount of cinnamon and sugar in 3, 4, and 5 batches. There's one batch, two batches, we're just counting by ones. One, two, three, four, and five. And down here we're counting by twos. Two, four, six, eight, and ten. So here's the third batch, the fourth batch, and the fifth batch. Number two. One batch of meatloaf contains two pounds of beef and one cup of breadcrumbs. Complete the double number line diagram to show the amounts of beef and breadcrumbs needed for one, two, three, and four batches of meatloaf. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So for one batch, it's two pounds. So two batches would be double that, that's four pounds. Four plus two is six, eight. We're just increasing by two. And down here for the bread crumbs, we start out with a half a cup. So down here, I need to start with a half a cup. When we double a half a cup, we have one whole cup. So remember, we're counting by halves. So this is going to be one and a half cups. And then finally, the fourth one would be two cups. So this would be the first batch, the second batch, the third batch, and the fourth batch. Number three, a recipe for tropical fruit punch says, combine four cups of pineapple juice with five cups of orange juice. A, create a double number line showing the amount of each type of juice in one, two, three, four, and five batches of the recipe. So this would be the pineapple juice number line and this would be the orange juice number line. One batch, two batches, three batches, four batches, five batches. So we're starting out with four cups of pineapple juice. So we're gonna count by fours. We have eight, 12, 16, and finally 20. Now for the orange juice, we're going to start with five cups of orange juice and continue increasing that by five. We'll have 10, 15, 20, and 25. So this would be the ratio needed. This would be the first batch, the second batch, third batch, fourth batch, and fifth batch. B. If 12 cups of pineapple juice are used with 20 cups of orange juice, will the recipe taste the same? Explain your reasoning. Well, 12 cups of pineapple juice is supposed to be used with 15 cups of orange juice. If you increase that to 20 cups, you're going to taste more orange juice than in the original mixture. So the answer would be no. And then you would say too much OJ, too much orange juice. C. The recipe also calls for one third cup of lime juice for every five cups of orange juice. Add a line to your diagram to represent the amount of lime juice in different batches of tropical fruit punch. I'm going to add a line for lime juice in a different color. The green line will represent lime juice. One third cup of lime juice for every five cups of orange juice. So down here where it says five cups of orange juice, that would mean that we have one third of a cup. And then above the 10, we would have two thirds. Above the 15, we would have three thirds, which is one whole cup. Above the 20, we're gonna have four thirds, which is one and one third cup. Above the 25, we'll have five thirds, which is equal to one and two thirds cups of lime juice. Number four, one batch of pink paint uses two cups of red paint 
and seven cups of white paint. Mai made a large amount of pink paint using 14 cups of red paint. A. How many batches of pink paint did she make? Well, if she used 14 cups of red paint and there's two cups of red paint to start with, then let's make a line. That would be two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. She used 14 cups of red paint and they were wondering how many batches that would have been. Seven batches, two cups times seven equals 14. So she made seven batches. B, how many cups of white paint did she use? Well, the white paint starts out at seven and then we count by seven. We started with 7, then we doubled that to 14, then we tripled it to 21, then we times it by 4 to get to 28, times it by 5 to get to 35. 7 plus 35 is going to be 42. And then finally right here, underneath the 14, we would have 49. So she used 49 cups of white paint. Number five, find three different ratios that are equivalent to three to 11. Well, let's start with a number line with a three and a number line with the 11. We're gonna double the three and get six, double the 11 and get 22, now triple the three to get nine, and triple the 11 to get 33. Now we're gonna have to multiply that three times four to get 12, and 11 times four to get 44. And they asked us to get three different ratios. And we did. We got 6 to 22, 9 to 33, and 12 to 44. We could write them out like this. 6 to 22, 9 to 33, and, and 12 to 44. B. Explain why your ratios are equivalent. My explanation is right here in this diagram. Number six, here is a diagram that represents the pints of red and yellow paint in a mixture. So there's three pints of red paint and one pint of yellow paint in a mixture. If you increase that at the same rate, you could have three more pints of red paint and one more pint of yellow paint, and you could call that a six to two ratio. You could call that a three to one ratio or a six to two ratio. So let's look at these statements. Select all statements that accurately describe the diagram. A. The ratio of yellow paint to red paint is 2 to 6. Well, we have 2 yellow to 6 red, so that would be yes. For every 3 pints of red paint, there is 1 pint of yellow paint. So for every 3 pints of red, there's 1 pint of yellow. That's true. C. For every pint of yellow paint, there are 3 pints of red. So for every pint of yellow, there's 3 pints of red. That is true. D. For every pint of yellow paint, there are six pints of red paint. That is not true. For every pint of yellow, there's three red. E, the ratio of red paint to yellow paint is six to two. The ratio of red paint to yellow paint is six to two, and that is true. Congratulations, you have completed Unit 2, Lesson 7, Creating Double Number Line Diagrams.